Fairburn is a charming city of 13,000 residents located 25 minutes south of Atlanta and 10 minutes from Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport down Interstate 85 with intermodal transport with CSX Railroad. Fairburn is a great place to live, work, and play. The Honorable Mario Avery serves as the CEO of the city. Mayor Avery administers the city affairs in concert with the six-member city council of Ron Alderman, Alex Heath, Elizabeth Hurst, Marion Johnson, Jean Barkley Russell, and Scott Vaughn, along with the city administrator Tom Barber and city clerk Brenda James, and a team of hard-working municipal employees who work diligently to transition Fairburn into a key player in the regional economic boom of South Fulton County. Along the Highway 74 Industrial Corridor, Quick Trip, a national leader in the convenience store and gasoline retail industry, opened hiring 12 people and joined Cracker Barrel Old Country Store, serving good country cooking to travelers and neighbors alike, who hired 200 people, and Taco Bell just opened, offering fast and affordable dining alternatives to its customers. Vacant land along Highway 74 offers developers future opportunities to build businesses. Congressman David Scott recently toured Fairburn with Mayor Avery to see the improvements firsthand. City leaders defeated an adult entertainment company's efforts to sell pornographic material, setting a moral standard in Fairburn. Growth along the Highway 92 Industrial Corridor brought Aaron Rich Furniture and Appliance Company, laundry detergent giant Clorox, U.S. Foods National Distributor, Electrolux Appliance Company, and Pittsburgh Painting Glass, who recently opened. Highway 29 is home to Oz Pizza and Strawn's Microbrewery, Gizmo Sports Bar, both a frame and antique shop, along with other great small businesses. The Irish Bread Pub will soon open its doors. An all-purpose courtyard facility is also under construction and will bring residents together for fun outdoor activities. The Historical Society is housed in the old Campbell County Courthouse. This building is listed on the National Registry of Historical Places as an institutional resource. Under Mayor Avery's leadership, Fairburn has the first balanced budget in five years. The city's reserve, better known as its funds balance, was increased when city leaders successfully underspent the 2012 budget by more than $500,000. 2010 census data shows a 150% increase from 5 to 13,000 residents who now call Fairburn home. A referendum demolished several dilapidated houses in blighted areas like the Lightning community and surrounding areas. Wooded areas were cleared to pave the way for the neighborhood stabilization funding. Community block grant funds were utilized for the streetscape and sidewalk improvement initiatives. Plans are underway to pave all 91 miles of Fairburn streets to offer residents better roads. Judge Monica Ewing created a community service program where 99 people completed almost 3,000 hours of community service work within city limits, saving Fairburn money by lowering municipal worker labor costs. The police department has implemented cutting-edge procedures to make Fairburn a safe place for residents, business owners, and visitors. The conceptual site plan for a new fire headquarters and training facility is projected for completion in 2013. Fairburn's neighborhoods are a great place to live. The Durham Lake subdivision offers waterfront living on an 18-hole golf course. Woodland Hills offers large lots in a quiet enclave. Charters Farm is a quaint community on the city's east side. Poplar Street and Azalea Drive allows Fairburn to maintain its historical residential atmosphere. Fairburn's Duncan Park offers fun for everyone. The city's partnership with the Eric Berry Foundation to revitalize Fairburn's Optimus football field began the revitalization process for Duncan Park. A request for a proposal to further renovate the facilities went out for bids. Future plans call for a children's splash pad, re-engineering the pool, increasing public parking, resurfacing tennis courts, renovating the bathroom facilities. Currently, three pavilions were built, electrical power outlets upgraded, and new picnic tables, grills, and trash receptacles installed for public rental and enjoyment. The city staff allows you to compete in inter-athletic games that teach team sports and camaraderie. Our city leadership makes every effort to achieve efficiency, equality, and excellence while serving our residents. Great customer service for all exemplifies my belief as mayor that we are one family, one family.